Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, soccer fans of all ages, this is Armand Colombo Field at Marciano Stadium, and today is Columbus Day, and we've got a good old-fashioned matchup between the Mansfield Hornets and your Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action high atop the turf here at Brockton High School. These two teams accounted for a 1-1 draw the last matchup at Mansfield. That is Brockton's lone mark on the season. It's 9-0-1, the record coming in. Undefeated to this point for the Boxers. The Hornets battling numerous injuries, the most gruesome of which, Nick Wozniewski. Uh, Mr. Wozniewski had a collision last game against Oliver Ames took a head to the throat now has stitches in his voice box and cannot talk for two weeks just talking to the Mansfield coach Stephen Sheridan before the game I said you got any volunteers you want to join me uh, you got a lot of injuries you know come up to the booth say say a few words he nominated this kid Nick Wisniewski who can't talk Mansfield is wearing their away green jerseys, white trim, brought in their home whites with red and black trim. One of my favorite things anytime the boxers play Mansfield in any sport, when's the last time you've seen a green hornet? Cars do not count. Brockton's starting goalkeeper, David Isaac, getting his first start of the year. And here goes number 20 up the sideline, some room to run. And it's going to be a corner kick for Brockton. That was Odeir Montero forcing it. And he's going to do the honors of the corner kick. Montero going to curve it out back towards midfield. Low kick and backed into the goal off of the back heel, but refs signaling something. Looks like a good goal, a back heel kick spinning around. So number 18 scored that goal. That is Leonardo Texera assisted by Odair Montero. And so, a short three minutes into this game, Brockton up one to nothing. Brockton goal scored in the third minute of the, excuse me, the 37th minute of the first half by number 18, Leandro Tixiera, assisted by number 20, Odio Montero. So it is Leonardo Tixiera who's having in an absolute tear of a season. He is the boxers' leading scorer as we have a penalty called against the boxers. Rain starting to pick up here at Marciano Stadium. <laughs> Official weather report brought to you by the Mad Dog Research Team. 71 degrees. In what would otherwise be a beautiful day if it wasn't cloudy and it wasn't raining. Decent winds blowing from west to east. Gusts up to about 18 and a half miles an hour. Now Texera trying to find Jonathan Rodriguez. Talking with Brockton head coach Herminio Furtado before the game, he says these two teams play a very different style of games. Mansfield likes sending long balls over the top. Brockton with the short passing game. He said that's probably the reason Mansfield got so many injuries is that the long passing game allows for a lot more contact, a lot more physicality, a lot more collisions. 
with a short passing game. Nobody's touching the ball long enough to create an injury. There's a slide tackle. Excellent cross and unable to get the one-time shot off. Now fighting for it was number 19 of the boxers. Lincoln Cena. See Brockton's short passing game in the middle of the field. Early kickoff in what is a busy week here for Boxer Athletics. Five games in the span of six days. We will be here for each and every one of them. And that being said, Brockton already defeating Durfee. On the men's side anyway. They play New Bedford later this week. In what is one of the most highly anticipated matchups in high school soccer history. The Brockton women's team already defeating Durfee and New Bedford here at home. He'll play New Bedford on the road this week in what will determine the big three if they win. They're the big three champions. Seven minutes into the first half. Eight minutes into the first half, one nothing boxers. The goal scored by Leonardo Texera, assisted by Odair Montero. in a very potent offense like I mentioned the last matchup of these two teams a 1-1 draw at Mansfield <laughs> unable to filter the pass through That's Montero to Rodriguez. Rodriguez can't handle it cleanly. The rains have subsided, at least for the moment. Free kick for the Hornets. Montero heading it out back towards midfield. Now Rodriguez with a nice self pass. Rodriguez heading it to Number 13 of the boxers, Jalen DeRosa.
Crockton with a lot of east and west movement to find open space. Boxer a little bit slow to get up is number 28, Mario Mendoza. We weren't sure how good this boxer team was going to be this year, losing as many seniors as they did. Then all of a sudden we saw a 7-2 blowout against BC High and a few other big wins. Now the boxers are, I believe, fourth ranked in the state. Taking out everyone and anything in their path. It was an early playoff exit last year in the state semifinal here at Marciano Stadium against Lincoln Sudbury. If any of you have not heard of where Lincoln slash Sudbury is, Metro West near Framingham. Big regional school out there. About 3,500 kids. Getting a little bit humid out right now. What could become a test of endurance. Shot saved by David Isaac, sent out of bounds, throwing for the Hornets. Ball boy today, Kevin Caro, sending this one. To the Hornets, a long throw sent into the box. Now, a one time shot is going to go through the uprights, and the Hornets have a better percentage than Nick Folk. Long kick sent through everybody all the way down to the other end of the field. And the Hornets goalkeeper, senior Nick Faraz. going to stay in bounds and now it's going to be sent out of bounds. It'll be a corner kick for the boxers. Good work by Odeir Montero to force that one and he will take the corner kick. His second attempt of the day, first one led to a goal. Again going to curve it inward back towards midfield. This one sent out, but back towards Montero. Montero now to DeRosa. DeRosa has it broken up. And 
A short passing game creating space for the boxers. Number eight, nine with it, Jonathan Texero sending it out of bounds. Looks like he just slipped on the wet turf. Swing and a miss. Across the back to number 15 of the boxers. It's Montero back to Derek DePina. Brockton able to clear it up and out of bounds. A couple of substitutions. Number 15, Jared Gabrilowitz of the Hornets. And Riven Rodriguez of the Boxers. Saved by Isaac. Sent back out towards midfield. Mansfield retaining possession. Now it's Rodriguez. Back to DePina and across midfield. Now Leandro Texera can't keep it in. It will be a boxer throw in. Clearing it out, but no Hornet in the area, so Brockton takes back with some room to move. Brockton, very good ball control skills. Slide there by number 15 of the boxers, who is not listed on our roster. Montero with his third corner kick of the day. This one, he will curve towards the goal. And a high kick, a little bit too long with the wind. And this one finds its way out of bounds. <laughs> goal kick for the Hornets. So we approach the halfway mark of the first half. one nothing Brockton over the Hornets. Goal scored by Leonardo Texera. Assisting on that goal was Odair Montero. Injury is the big 
story for the Mansfield Hornets, as we mentioned, Wisniewski. Stitches in his voice box. Unable to talk for two weeks. They've got two players in walking boots. One in concussion protocol. Very banged up Hornets team. The boxers... Only one injury that caused the player to miss a game. He is returning today. A very long bench for the boxers. Throwing for the boxers just inside midfield. 18-15 left in the first half. Sarah fighting for it. Ball ping-ponging around and will find its way out of bounds. It'll be a corner kick for the boxers. Montero going to take his fourth attempt of the day. Send it outward towards midfield. Low kick is punched out by Faraz and it works its way back towards midfield. foot race that will be won by the Hornets and result in a goal kick. Something we don't see often at Marciano Stadium. Very, very young referee. Looks like he could be 23 years old. Looks like he could play semi-pro soccer somewhere. Quite the difference from the officials we'd normally see here. play called against the boxers so a hornet free kick from about the 50 yard line weird ball placement it's on the near hash mark of the football markings at the 45 yard line
Now a dangerous play called against the Hornets, and it'll be a boxer free kick. And referee rules that ball was still moving when it was kicked, so they'll have a restart. Brockton going short on the kick, working the ball around the defense. And this one, a little bit off the mark. Mansfield taking over. Brockton forced to send it out of bounds, but it'll be off Mansfield. And Claudio Mascarenas coming into the game for Brockton. Thirteen minutes left in the first half, and one to nothing boxers over the Hornets. Looking to add to that is Brockton across and a save by Faraz. Defense by the boxers preventing that one from resulting in a two on one for the Hornets. Throwing for Brockton with 12 minutes left. Now foot race to the corner. And it's going to roll out of bounds. Goal kick for Mansfield. Three boxers converging on the loose ball headed towards Montero. And cleared high across the field by the Hornets. Whistle stop in substitution. Daniel Andre coming into the game for the Boxers. He replaces Jalen DeRosa. A boxer throw in. Throwing for the boxers deep in Hornet territory from within the 10 yard line of the football markings. Long throw into the middle, headed towards goal, and it's picked out of thin air by Nick Faraz. Oh, 
Just under 10 minutes left now in the first half. one nothing Boxers. The goal scored by Leonardo Texera, assisted by Odair Montero off a corner kick. And almost coming again, and it'll be another corner kick for the Boxers. And again, it's going to be Odair Montero taking the corner kick for Brockton. Again, sending it out towards midfield. Short kick to send it in and attempting to head it in. Unsuccessful were the boxers. Mansfield's traveling crowd coming alive a little bit. Eight and a half minutes left in the first half. Sent back to David Isaac. A couple of Hornets collide. One is still down. And we're now joined by not so newly named athletic director, Kevin Caro. Mr. Caro, another day, another fresh set of this one's Under Armour threads that say boxers on it. Interesting day so far on Columbus Day. Yeah. Um, didn't, know what, didn't know what we were going to get when we woke up. I mean, I saw the forecast last night, and uh, well, we have a window. Looks like it's going to hang on till about 1 o'clock, and then the showers will come in, so we don't have anything else scheduled here today. So we needed to get this in because I never like to have soccer uh, play back-to-back -back days. So this, is, this was a must get it in. So the AD, Joe Russo, and I are on the same page, and here we are with seven minutes left, and so far so good. Free kick almost within the goalie box. Low kick popped up high, and it's going to hang on the apron of the net. Fairly competitive game. A lot of time spent in the Mansfield end. Not a lot of shots on goal. No, not a lot. I was really surprised. I was down at the other end, and it just seemed like we were really pushing the action down here, but we just haven't been able to get any real quality shots with the exception of that corner kick that we scored on. Um, and, and this is one of the things is, you know, I always talk about routine, and... Um, you know, our guys are used to playing later in the afternoon and at night, and this is an early, early start for them, so you wonder if that's kind of affecting their play right now. Big week for boxer sports. Five games in six days across three sports. Tell us about this crazy week at Marciano Stadium. Yeah, a great scheduling on the athletic director's part, huh? No, but... Uh, <laughs> Oh, we've got girls soccer tomorrow against Newton North, which should be a great game. And then Wednesday, we don't have anything. And then I think our girls are back here on Thursday against Bridgewater Raynham. Then we have a big homecoming football game against Durfee on Friday night. Then we have a homecoming soccer, I mean, uh, alumni soccer game, followed by the boys playing Dartmouth. No, actually, who are we playing? No, no, we had, the boys travel to Situate. It's the following week that we have New Bedford here. So I want to say we're playing Zaverian next, um, next Saturday. So, yeah, I'm just going to set up shop in my office. <laughs> Get a good coffee maker and uh, no, someone to deliver you dunks. VCA Sports will be here at Marciano all week, all week. Probably just get a mattress and a tent and camp out on Wednesday. This one sent over the top, and Faraz having an increasingly strong day in net for the Mansfield Hornets. 
Might have some uh, pine tar, stick them on his gloves. Four forty three left in the first half. Some room and now a good feather through and a shot is going to hit the side of the net. And it'll be a corner kick deflected off for Oz. I think the Brockton forward waited just one or one and a half steps too long to shoot that. Creating the bad angle. Montero low kick. Filtered through the box and still loose. Now one time shot by number three is blocked. That was Claudio Mascarenas. Number 28, Mario Mendoza sending it through to nobody in particular. Out of bounds, goal kick for the Hornets. Three and a half to go. Now push called against the Hornets, sent back in. Two and a half to go. We remind you, official time kept on the field. The scoreboard clock will stop at two minutes. Mad Dog Research Team has a stopwatch that was not functional last game due to the Houston Astros and the Boston Red Sox. It is working this game, however. We've tested it. It is functional. Margin of error usually about 15 seconds. Last game, we nailed it down to 13. Another corner kick for the boxes. This one filtered through and getting through for Oz. But Brockton unable to get a shot off. And it'll be a Mansfield throw in. Mansfield's usually very competitive against Brockton in all sports. That is holding true today. Completely overpowering in basketball, but we won't talk about that. About a minute left in the first half. one nothing Brockton over Mansfield. The lone goal scored by Leonardo Texera, assisted by Odair Montero. If there is an offensive opportunity on either side of the field, the referee is not allowed to stop the half. They must let that opportunity conclude. This one sent over the top into Brockton's defense. Brockton able to catch up to it. Montero is going to have it off of the side of his toe and out of bounds with about 10 seconds left in the half. Mansfield with an opportunity broken up. A 
lot of yelling on the field. And it's cleared up and out by the Brockton defense. 22 seconds today. The whistles blow, the clock hits zero, and the score at halftime is one to nothing. The Brockton Boxers leading the Mansfield Hornets again. The lone goal scored by Leonardo Texera, assisted by Odair Montero. We're going to step aside and take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. You sure you don't want some? It's chamomile. <laughs> Listen, you are extremely terrifying. Mm. Just the scariest undead subhuman mm. thing on TV, and I really mean that. <laughs> but I am worried that you could give my kids nightmares if they mm. see you, so I'm going to have to block you. <laughs> so that's it. Oh, and, and tell the zombies they're, they're blocked too. Michael Adams? Here... Michael Adams. Here. Michael Adams. Students who miss 18 days of school in any grade risk falling behind and not graduating. Absences add up. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, soccer fans of all ages, welcome back into Marciano Stadium for second half action between your Brockton Boxers and the Mansfield Hornets. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the action high above Colombo Field here at Brockton High School. One to nothing, the score coming into the second half. Brockton on top. The goal scored by Leonardo Texera off a corner kick from Odeir Montero. Mansfield wearing their away dark green jerseys with white trim. The boxers in their home whites, red and black trim. This one sent out of bounds. Mansfield trying to create an opportunity over the top. Rain starting to pick up here once again. Sending it into the box. Now a shot is going to be popped up and put out of bounds over the end line by Mansfield. So it'll be a, a yet another corner kick for the boxers. coming into Marciano. It has dipped slightly from the 73 degrees we kicked off at. It's now 71. With winds coming from west to east, gusts of about 13 and a half miles an hour now. be an interesting week here at Marciano Stadium. 
a packed slate of games. And up and down weather. It's supposed to be beautiful tomorrow and Saturday. That's what I heard anyway. Getting some uh, pushback from the press box. I was listing off the days. It's supposed to be nice weather first. Yeah, so it's supposed to be above 75 degrees both Tuesday and Saturday. A little bit colder on Wednesday, Thursday, and about 69 on Friday. Now a shot oh, yeah. in, it's gonna be banged in. Number 17 for the boxers. Riven Rodriguez, the senior forward. Going Yeoman's work out in front to create some space and just completely pounding it home with authority. So it's Revan Rodriguez unassisted. Two nothing boxers with 35 minutes remaining in the second half. Mansfield throwing. Another Mansfield throw in. Bad throw in for the boxers stepping on the line. Throw is about five yards up. On the line. I don't know how to make it any clearer. It's a Mansfield throw and Brockton now with an opportunity. It's number 24 with a shot and a good save by Nick Faraz. Daniel Andra, the senior midfielder, with the latest boxer opportunity. And the boxer offense seemingly coming alive, putting some more shots on net. <laughs> Excellent athletic play on the sideline by head coach Herminio Furtado. for Mansfield injuries. Brockton, not so much. Matt, why would you even say that? 
Why would you? I knocked on wood. Knocked on wood. Talked earlier with the Mansfield head coach Stephen Sheridan. Probably the most gruesome soccer injury I've ever heard of. <laughs> Senior captain Nick Wisniewski had a collision against Oliver Ames. Took a head to the throat. Required stitches in his voice box and he can't talk for two weeks. Jonathan Rodriguez getting ready to come back into the game along with Jalen DeRosa. A couple of players hitting the turf. I think we're throwing that one in air quotes. Incidental contact. Able to keep it in was Texera. And now Texera with some room. And sending it a little bit too far, but kept in at least until he shot it. it was number five, Luis Spinola. And DeRosa and Rodriguez back into the game. Matt O'Donnell into the game for the Hornets. That's Jonathan Rodriguez into the box broken up by the Mansfield D. Nine minutes to go. The whistle and be a free kick for the Hornets from about 30 yards out on an angle. Luke Savoy taking the kick and Brockton able to clear out. Two nothing boxers. Goals by Leandro Texera and it's number five getting completely. It's like a bear hug. Almost got, almost gotten taken down in the backfield. Back and forth action. 
last couple of minutes. This one sent high and deep and into the arms of Nick Faraz. Mansfield substitutions, Derek Muth and Jared Gabrilowitz into the game. Long throw is cleared out by the boxers. Now sent into the stands out of bounds. Decent crowd here for a wet, windy holiday. Now a shanked shot. Anyone who's not here celebrating the discovery of America and America's America's pastime. Full slate of prof professional sporting events today. Sox Astros, game four. We again want to thank the city of Houston for not making the Red Sox look like a bunch of sissies. Hopefully they can continue it and get it to game five. Bruins and Avalanche in what should be a compelling matchup. Colorado with a bunch of young forwards. Nathan McKinnon among them. Should be a very good matchup at the TD Garden today. And another pick out of mid here by Nate Faraz. Twenty-three minutes remaining in the second half. In a full slate of Sports on BCA this week. Of course, Mansfield and the boxers going at it right now. The girls team takes on Newton South tomorrow. Rare off day on Wednesday. Girls soccer versus Bridgewater Raynham on Thursday. And then the Hilltoppers of Durfee High School come to town to face the boxer football team. And then 
We've got the Brockton High men's soccer team back here on Saturday afternoon against the Dartmouth Indians. That one too is usually a competitive game. Boxers 9-0 oh, and 1 coming into this game. Gasps taken around the stadium. Is trying to head to the ball to the goaltender, missing it just a little bit. Uh, Mansfield, sorry, is going to take their time out. So I said Dartmouth. Dartmouth's team color is green, so I got momentarily confused. It's time out on the field with 21.32 to go. 2 nothing boxers. And we're going to step aside, take a short break, and bring you the rest of second half action right after this. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. And we're back. Corner kick for the Mansfield Hornets. Very low kick is going to be deflected, and that's a goal for the Hornets. Assisted by Luke Savoy. I believe number eight deflected that in. Or number number nine. Twenty-eight scored is Jackson Murphy. And just like that, the game is two to one. Let the boys be boys today from the two officials. I guess that tends to come with a younger combination of refs. So it's Jackson Murphy assisted by Luke Savoy. As we have hit the halfway point of the second half. Stephen Gomes is a little bit gimp on the field for the boxers. A long throw by number 44, and this one's saved by David Isaac, but whistles, and we're going to have a penalty kick.
and a yellow card. Number 22 is Derek DePina and a penalty kick to be taken by number 20, starting and stopping and getting it past David Isaac fairly easily. And we have a tie game. Number 20 on the PK. Cullen Anastasia, senior midfielder. <laughs> Didn't the last matchup between these two teams end with a controversial penalty kick that tied the game? So Mansfield tying the game up, two to two the score. Mansfield goals by Cullen Anastasia and Jackson Murphy. Brockton on the other hand, Ivan Rodriguez and Leandro Leonardo, excuse me, Texera. Sixteen twenty-three left in an increasingly interesting game. Still not sure what happened to cause that card in the penalty kick. First card of the boxer's season. A few years ago, the boxers had a fairly hey, high amount of cards. The box. That's a PK. And this is going to be a PK for the boxers now. As a penalty committed in the box by Mansfield. And Who has more fun than us? Two PKs in one game. I think this is Rodriguez taking it. Jonathan Rodriguez taking the kick for the boxers. Starting and stopping, and he scores off the left hand of Nick Faraz and into the back of the net. And the boxers again have a lead with 15 minutes to go. What a wild one here on Columbus Day. Three to two boxers, two PKs. The boxer is going to send in the backup goaltender. That's Dalton Rocha. And Mario Mendoza coming into the game as well for Brockton. Brockton substitution on the 28th. Mario Mendoza. 
So the afternoon has ended for David Isaac. And now sent up to number 11 of the boxers, Edson Lopes. Sent it back across the field. And another save by Nick Faraz. Even if the boxers pull out the win here, game ball goes to Nick Faraz. Mansfield with an opportunity here. Number nine, John Cooney. Out of bounds off of Mansfield. Two captains of the Hornets have been fairly quiet today. Sam and Nick Highland. Twins. No twin magic in the air for the Hornets so far. There's a little, little pile up. Matt O'Donnell, junior defenseman, getting ready to come back into the game for the Hornets. Along with number 28, Jackson Murphy, who assisted, uh, rather scored on the first Mansfield goal. Letting the boys play today, these referees, except in the box. A whistle, a stoppage, and an injury. There's a Hornet down. Number 15, Jared Gabrilowicz, senior midfielder, is the Hornet down. The last thing the Hornets need is another injury. One of their captains, Sean Lanzillo, already out. Along with Nick Wisniewski and a host of other Hornets. And now it is Gabrilowicz. Injury timeout with 10.38 remaining in the second half. Three to two. The box is looking to close out a wild one here on Columbus Day. And we're going to step aside for this injury timeout and bring you the remaining 10.38 right after this. You sure you don't want some? It's chamomile. Listen, you are extremely terrifying. Just the scariest undead subhuman thing on TV, and I really mean that. <laughs> but I am worried that you could give my kids nightmares if they see you, so I'm gonna have to block you. <laughs> so that's it. Oh, and, and tell the zombies they're, they're blocked too. Michael Adams? Here. Michael Adams? Here. Michael Adams. Students who miss 18 days of school in any grade risk falling behind and not graduating. Absences add up. Drop kick. Yeah. 
Drop kick. Jonathan Texera sent it in the general direction of Nick Faraz. And a handball against Brockton. So a free kick resulting from the handball. Long kick sent over the top, and Rocha makes the save. And dives on it to prevent it from popping loose. So Roach is going to kill some time, waiting for Mansfield to come up and challenge, and now picking it up. Under 10 minutes to go, 9.40 left in the second half, 3-2, boxers over the Hornets. Three goals in no particular order, Leonardo Texera, Jonathan Rodriguez, and Riven Rodriguez for Brockton, for Mansfield. The two goals scored by Cullen Anastasia and Jackson Murphy. Nick Faraz, excellent, stellar in that. All afternoon for the Hornets. That is Anastasia. And Murphy working to create an opportunity, and Roach is going to dive on it. Now we're going to have a push called against Mansfield on Jonathan Rodriguez. So it'll be a free kick for the boxers from the 50-yard line. kick huh? now Rocha picking this one up after wasting a few more seconds Vincent Lopes. Now we're going to have a penalty against Edson. Mansfield free kick from about midfield. A little confusion over the placement. Right on the 50 yard line, Jonathan Rodriguez disagrees. Long kick high over the top, off of net, and Roach is going to let it bounce out of bounds. Leonardo Texera back into the game, scoring the first of the boxers' three goals. Now sent up to number five of the boxers. His shot is going to go wide to the left. 
with 5.55 remaining. Now Rocha forced to tap it, and he's going to carry it over the end line. It'll be a corner kick for the Hornets. Taken by number 33, Luke Savoy. Assisted on the first goal by Jackson Murphy. And this one is going to be headed in the wrong direction. The ref hits the deck. A collision. And now the ref struggling to catch up. Two boxers hit the deck and we're gonna have a card. As Leonardo Texera went down. The ref went down, struggling to catch up. Full blown sprint to catch up. And when he when he caught up, Harry Breit had committed a penalty against Jonathan Rodriguez, or Leonardo Texera rather. It's a free kick from the boxers. 38 yards out from net. Direct angle. Straight line to the net. And sending it high over the top. The old Billy Cundiff. Wide to the left. The old Nick Folk. Clock ticking though, three and a half minutes to go. Three to two boxers in what can only be described as a wild matchup here. We have a boxer down. Nobody seems to be paying attention. There's a boxer down at midfield. Number 10, Senior Captain Junior Gomes is down, has not moved at midfield. Now he's trying to get up at the 45 yard line. So clock stopped, trainer had started to come onto the field. Junior Gomes now must come out of the game for one play. Now the trainer's gonna go check on him on the boxer sideline. Ivan Rodriguez in for Gomes. Drop kick won by the boxers. Rocha sends it towards the Mansfield bench. Two and a half minutes to go. After the last injury timeout 
scoreboard clock didn't quite start on time, so. Offsides against the boxers. May not bother with the stopwatch this time as it'll be way off. Official time kept on the field by the referees. We can only guess. Rodriguez shielding it. Whistle stoppage. Quick restart. Rodriguez with a cross and it's going to be deflected back out of harm's way. About a minute left here. Rocha wasting more valuable time off the clock. Three to two boxers. It's been a crazy Columbus day here in Marciano Stadium as this shot is going to be lined wide to the left. Clock continues to run. Three boxer goals in no particular order. Jonathan Rodriguez, Leonardo Texera, Riven Rodriguez. The two Mansfield goals. One by Cullen Anastasia and one by Jackson Murphy. And that was assisted by Luke Savoy. Rodeo Montero with the lone assist on the boxers day. There's probably about 15 seconds left. We're gonna have another whistle and a free kick for the boxers. Revan Rodriguez is slow to get up. Derek DePina coming back in. He was given the first card of the boxer's season as Montero sent this one right on Nick Faraz who made the easy save. This one off the back of the head of number five. Excellent job there. All right, Luis Spinola. Well, maybe about 15 seconds left. Again, the refs cannot stop an offensive opportunity. Clearing this one back towards midfield. Derek Tapina back into the game. Sure up the boxers defense in the closing moments here. He replaces Odeir Montero. out of bounds and it'll be a corner kick for the boxers. About two minutes left. And Spinola is going to take it in place of Odair Montero who just came to the boxers sideline. Boxers are going to, looks like anyway, with a short approach here. Whistles blow and this one has come to an end. The final score, three to two, Brockton escaping. We've seen two PK goals, two corner kick goals. It's been a wild one here on Columbus Day. Two Mansfield goals, one scored by Cullen Anastasia, the other by Jackson Murphy, assisted by Luke Savoy. The boxer goals, one scored by Leonardo Texera. Assisted by Odair Montero on the corner kick. Jonathan Rodriguez on the PK. 
And Riven Rodriguez on a bullet. Three to two, the final score. Brockton moving to 10-0 and one and staying undefeated on the year. And that will wrap it up from Marciano Stadium on Columbus Day. Boxers three, Hornets two. For everyone here at BCA Sports, our cameraman, Mike the Postman Simmons. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game. Done.